I'm Robin Chapman, Professor Emerita of Communication Sciences and Disorders from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, reading four poems from the Bridges 2020 Poetry Anthology. The first, called Mary Laycock, is about my mathematics teacher in high school at Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Mary Laycock, mathematics educator, born 1915, died 2011. What did she do for us in three years of high school math? Let us confer like kids on the playground, rushing now to the monkey bars, suspended hand over hand between the number lines equal intervals, or jumping now on the merry-go-round that spun its polar coordinates as we rode the sine and cosine waves of the Palominos, or piling on the seesaw, learning the trade-offs of placement and weight, the way the strictly paired angles of plank widened and narrowed, or on the track, how the lever of the pole vault's thrust could carry us to new heights, or the conversion of our distance and time to rate, for it was play that she brought to the room and trust that we could map it onto Euclid, Fourier, and Descartes. She was one of the most wonderful educators of the last century. This is uh, from my book, Images of a Complex World. The Art and Poetry of Chaos that is accompanied by the explanations and, uh, and uh, attractors of uh, Julian Clinton Sprott's art. And it's called The Route to Chaos. One, period doubling. Perhaps like my uncle, you have your ups and downs your good days and bad, weeks of excitement and weeks of dread, years of enlightenment and years of lost sleep, even, like him, marry again every few years. Hmm. Blue sky catastrophe. This is the day that dawns just like any other day, out to play with Honey Bunch and her new kittens, run through the sprinkler in noons 95 degrees, grass prickly under bare feet, then in for dinner to find your father's gone away and won't be back. Sensitive dependence on initial conditions. You're eight and no more nightly games of double solitaire with the dad who's vanished now. But because you can read and the shelves are lined with little red leather bound classics in six point font. You fall instead into the worlds of Dickens and Poe, Treasure Island and the Brothers Grimm, the Swiss family Robinson, shipwrecked on that island where they all survive. This too is from images of a complex world. Nonlinear functions. Definition one, not a linear function. A nonlinear life doesn't turn out the way you might expect. More of the same each year, straight line from birth to death, but more like David Copperfield's or Horatio Alger's, the story of any infant where a look or word made all the difference and who they became today. Definition two, one in which f of x plus y does not equal f of x plus f of y. This is easily enough understood by any child of divorce. Mom's house and dad's house are not the same as a house with both mom and dad before. Or think of f as happiness and know that what they had together is not what they have now, whatever the plus or minus sign of once upon a time. Definition three, 
one in which f of ax does not equal a times f of x. This one's obvious to poets, mail carriers, preschool teachers. A salary of a for each x equal pay is not the same as 500a for the CEO and what's left over for the rest of us x's, even though the nation's average annual income would remain the same, and some economists would claim measures of average income are perfectly adequate in charting progress in the economy's name. This final poem is from my first chapbook called Distance, Rate, Time, and the poem itself is called Distance, Rate, Time. Going fast down the path, fighting for breath, for footing, the run becomes one long pouring of legs, lungs, salt into green, gravel, wind, green legs, gravel, lungs, salt, wind, while time, hawk on the updraft, climbs overhead, turning and turning. Thanks for listening.